Hey guys, welcome back to the next episode of the Mishap Garage. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Jesse and I've named this shop the Mishap Garage. We do a little bit of body work, restoration, mechanic work, basically just anything you can fit in the shop. We work on in here. As you can see in the background, we have a trailer. This trailer is 34 feet long. It apparently was red at one point. The deck boards got rotten in it, so he pulled all the deck boards off and figured while well, he had the boards off, he might as well have it painted. It's a gooseneck. The front looks pretty good, but then you just get down low on it. And the further you go back, the rustier it gets until it turns into rust color. Now we're gonna paint it black, but we'll get set up for a time lapse, get you up on something, and then we'll get started. Okay, so I'm gonna edit out a lot of that time lapse there, and that took a lot longer than what I expected. Actually, a few hours of doing all of this. And either, everything is either sanded down or scuffed where we couldn't reach all the way around. Inside of there is all scuffed. Outside here is all sanded down. Up top, the same way. And all the way around there. And now we're gonna go around with. Prep all, this is your wax and grease remover. Here's our handle for our jack that goes through here. And then we got everything down below as well, all the way across, front and back. We got on blocks here, jack stands over there. We got our ramps up with some bungee straps so we can paint them up and down. We're gonna tape off our hoist and we'll get to it. I'm not even gonna time lapse me wiping this down or getting it ready or taping anything off. We'll just come back when we're ready for the pour 15. Okay, we just poured our pour 15 in. I put 16 ounces in and then I put one ounce of the reducer in, or they call it solvent, but it's a reducer to help fit in our gun. We're using a 1.7 tip on our piece of junk primer gun. And when this stuff sprays, it doesn't come off. So once this once this stuff gets sprayed, it doesn't come off of anything. So we've taped off our hoist, done our hubs, so we don't get any on the studs. And then we went up and did our wiring harness, just wrapped it in tin foil, that's all you need. Tin foil works really good for stuff like this. The rest of it I'm not worried about getting overspray on. There's nothing here. Too nice. I did cover up my nice toolboxes though that we don't really care about too much but we're gonna set you down time lapse this we're gonna do two coats of this pour 15 clean the strip and then they also have a basically like an acid wash we put on too so we got that all done and now we're gonna get ready to hit our rust and this is supposed to just paint right over rust and stick there so we'll get you set up for time lapse
All right, y'all excuse the heater. I turned it off when I was painting. I wait for it to clear out before I fired it back up. So here's what it look like after our first coat. Everything's black, it should be black. I forgot my handle though. But if we look down the sides, everything's black. It's even got a shine to it, but that's not gonna matter. This took exactly one quart to do all this. If we look at our can, see if it'll tell you, two to six hours between coats. And it's about 3.45 now. So I might be out here at about nine o'clock doing the next one or so. All right, we're just getting ready for our second coat of pour 15. Now it says on the can that you should be able to touch it and your finger will have a little bit of drag, so you're gonna touch it and drag it. You see it make a mark, but there's nothing on my finger. That's what you're looking for. I've checked it all the way around. It's dry, we're gonna put on our last coat and then we'll come back out probably sometime this week and we'll scuff it all again. We'll put our top coat on because this can't be left in direct sunlight. Pour 15 won't work under ultraviolet rays from the sun or anything. So if it's underneath of a car, you're fine. You don't have to do anything else. But if it's on something where the sun's gonna hit it, you have to put a top coat on it. Now you can spray it right over, but I don't have enough time. So we'll come back out, we'll scuff it up and we'll shoot a top coat on it. All right, second coat's on. We're gonna call this the last coat. It took exactly another quart to get all that done. We're on a little low on getting our ramps done, but up here looks pretty good. I did see we do have, I don't know what else gonna show up here. There's a couple runs going right across there. And I think I've seen one more on them side railings, but I'll tell you what, we're not even going to charge them extra for the, all that extra material they're getting. I did remember to get my handle this time. And then I shot across here too. I missed that on the first coat because the boards actually sit up underneath of here. So you'll be able to see that piece right there. So I put an extra heavy one on there. I will show you this real quick. And so I'm just, if you're wondering why I covered all this stuff up, I don't know what's going to show up. Oh, I'll get a light here. See all the black overspray and everything? There's like little lines, those aren't shadows. If I move the plastic, and move with it. That's the overspray from the 415, and it's already stuck to the plastic. It doesn't come off. So anything you don't want to get overspray on, make sure you put plastic over. All right, I figured I'd just show you this real quick. It's cured for about two days. I let it go for two days at 55, just to make sure everything's gonna be done. And I took, and I sat down with 220 instead of 320. It says to use 320. I use 220 on this, just as it's gonna be a single stage. It's not a show car, it's a trailer. And the single stage should cover it up pretty nice, but you see it's all scuffed up and sanded down. All the way around. Up above. Down the sides. It's not shiny anymore. That took a lot of sandpaper to do all this. If you're gonna do it, do it right. All right guys, so I never actually showed you what I was spraying over top of the 415. And this is what I'm using is, it's Nason, all it is is an acrylic enamel. And then this is your hardener, and then this is your reducer here. And that's all I sprayed there. There was two coats over top of that to protect that 415 from the uh, sunlight. It's been about an hour. And everything's pretty much dried down. So you can see the shine that's, that it's gonna have. You can see my reflection there. Our handle's over there. Here's our 
neck across here, all the way up top and around. And you see how well that laid down, it's pretty flat. All the way across. It turned out pretty nice. I'll throw the tires back on it and I don't know what he's gonna let me do about the lights, but then I'll throw the jack back on it too. I figured I'd just give you a little quick walk around of it real quick so you can see what we got. Again, there's the ramps. Go across, across the back, and our other ramp. And there you have it, folks. There's poor 15 with a single stage enamel on top of it to protect it.